So, I'm not really going to talk about my time in NXT. Overall, it was great, but I don't want to give Rhea Ripley the attention after what she did. She could have ended my career before it even started. I still think you should have changed your name to Red Eye after that. And think of the marketing opportunities for airlines and allergy medicine that would have come your way. You left a lot of money on the table. Can you focus on our speech instead of bringing up bad ideas from the past? Bad ideas? There's another tie-in you missed out on. Please come in and save me from my idiot best friend. Hey, soon-to-be Hall of Famers. It's my old tag partner. That didn't last very long, did it? Unfortunately, no. I just wanted to say that I am so excited and honored to induct you tonight. We wouldn't want anyone else to do it. I mean, Undertaker would have been pretty cool. Or President Rock. He actually texted us today. Check it out. Can you please stop insulting Rhonda before she snaps your arm off? It's fine. Oh, now I can't find the text. Please tell me I didn't accidentally delete it. Rhonda's the perfect person to induct us. She and I had some intense battles when I first got into WWE. Especially that Money in the Bank match with the arm bar on top of the ladder. I am definitely going to mention that tonight. And I have to tell that story about Trey's first night on Raw. That was crazy. Do you think messages from the president self-destruct? Like, for security reasons? I don't know about that. Oh, I almost forgot. This was on your door. See you out there soon. What is it? It's a note from my parents. You haven't talked to them in years. No, my real parents. It says they're going to be at the Hall of Fame ceremony tonight. Wow. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. Between never hearing from them again after they sent me that letter in high school and then all those times I left tickets for them and they didn't show, I, I'd given up hope. But now I'm finally going to meet my actual real parents. This is so cool. Are you sure it's not some kind of misunderstanding? It has to be them. Look, they signed it the same way they signed the letter I got in high school. This really isn't the best time, but maybe we should talk about this whole thing with your birth parents. No, you can't do this. What's there to talk about? They must have finally seen me on TV and tracked me down, which is all thanks to you. You're the one who encouraged my big debut on Raw, remember? That's like your third plate. Are you sure you don't have a tapeworm? It's just the food here at Raw is so much better than what I'm used to at NXT. Do you try these black beans? They really nailed the seasoning. I'm good. Don't want a case of the bean cramps during my Money in the Bank qualifying match tonight against Ronda Rousey. You're lost. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are reasons other than the food that I'd like to join you here on Raw. It's been kind of weird in NXT by myself. Well, whenever you're done stuffing your face, it wouldn't hurt if you made the rounds mm. here and introduced yourself. Never know what could happen. You know what? That's a great idea. I'll do that right now. And by the time I'm done, dessert should be out. Sure, I'll clean up your plate. Hey, where are you going? That goes out to the arena! Finally, you all have a champion you can be proud of. And now that I've climbed this mountain, I plan on enjoying the view for a very, very long time. In fact, our GM, Randy Orton, might not like me saying this, but I'm the champ now, so who cares? The next decade of Monday Night Raw is going to be very monotonous because there will be no universal title changes. For the next 500 episodes, this is all you will see. Me in this ring, holding this championship. Guys, are you seeing this? Unfortunately, yes. I'm not sure why Trey from NXT is here, but let's focus on our champion. Not the reaction I was expecting, but for those of you who find this upsetting, I'm sure there are other so-called championship matches you can watch where the titles will change hands frequently, but not mine. Okay, this guy's officially insane. Security, do your jobs. Are you kidding me? 
Uh, I saw visiting backstage, but I guess he had other plans. Are you lost? You know this is an NXT, right? Let him in the ring. It's cool. Come on, Joe. You're giving him what he wants. This guy craves the spotlight. You mind telling me what you're doing out here? I think we'd all like to know. I got some really good advice from my friend Red. She's kind of new to Raw, but I'm sure you know who she is, right? Super talented. Bit of a temper sometimes, but you can relate. Anyway, she said I should go around and introduce myself, and I figured, why not start with the Universal Champion himself? So I'm Trey. Pleasure to meet you. I'm not sure this is going to end well for Trey. Do you think I'm some kind of joke? No, no, not at all. Shut your mouth! before I break your arm. I didn't plan on competing tonight, but after your little interruption, I guess I'm going to have to start my decade of dominance one week early. I wasn't planning on competing tonight either. I actually just ate a ton of food at catering and my stomach's killing me. You mind if we postpone until next week? I'm afraid that is not an option. Okay, fine. But if I'm doing this, your, your title's on the line, right? <laughs> Sure. I didn't get to properly introduce myself. I'm Samoa Joe, the man who's gonna choke the life out of you. We have an impromptu Universal Championship match coming up next. I think it's gonna be more of a slaughter than a match. I'm afraid you're right, Corey. We've seen Trey do some great things in NXT, but I don't think he's ready for this kind of challenge, especially with no time to prepare. Yeah, well, it's too late now. This is happening, and I can't wait. I don't think this is gonna last very long. Unfortunately, I have to agree. Dragon Suplex. He might have been waiting on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Samoa Joe locks in the Coquina Clutch. Told you it wasn't going to last very long. Wait a second. Trey counters. Joe's shoulders are down on the mat. He did it. Women of the Universal Champion. Trey just pulled off one of the biggest upsets in WWE yet. history. I guess I was still right about it. Not lasting long, but this is unbelievable. All hell is broken loose on Raw. We have an NXT superstar who just won the Universal Championship. This is unprecedented. What happens next? Other than Trey running for his life, I have no idea. Hey, wait! Can't slow down. Joe's gonna kill me. Shouldn't have eaten all that food. What the hell did you just do? I took your advice and it worked. I'm Universal Champion! I meant you should talk to someone like the GM to try and get a call up, not interrupt Samoa Joe. I, I mean, congrats, your crazy way of doing things worked yet again, but now what? I haven't thought that far ahead. I'm just enjoying the moment. Also, I might throw up. <sighs> also, you're my ride. Sorry. <sighs> if you find your friend before I do, you tell him, this is far from over. Not that there are any easy matches in WWE, but this is a, certainly a tough draw for Red in this Money in the Bank qualifying match. Oh, I agree, Michael. And having to defeat Ronda Rousey just to get a chance to compete in the Money in the Bank ladder match is no easy task. It's kind of like surviving an encounter with a great white only to get thrown into a river of piranhas. Good luck with that, Red. Oh, what a four! Evading possible disaster there. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, she turns it around. Boom! <laughs> oh, there's the Irish curse backbreaker. Bro kick! The Florida Keys! 
stringing together some big moves here. Really taking control here. Oh my gosh. What an uppercut. Adding to what Michael said about Ronda being a huge star. When she entered the WWE, that bright light burned her kick. All she has to do is capitalize. Oh man, Red setting up for something big. Hold on, what is Samoa Joe doing out here? Did you find your friend yet? Huh? Where is he? Answer me. I don't know where he went. This is not my problem. Here comes Ronda from behind. Piper hit. And that'll do it, Ronda Rousey has qualified for the Money in the Bank ladder match, albeit under somewhat controversial circumstances. Controversial, Red should have stayed focused on her opponent. That's on her. Well, it appears Ronda Rousey is also somewhat frustrated with how things went down. Hey, a win's a win, and if Trey hadn't run away like a coward, this never would have happened. Maybe Red needs to have a talk with her best friend. Hey, there's like a hundred other benches in this mall. Go find one. Psst. Look. Seriously, I will not hesitate to punch you in the junk. Trey? Yeah, it's me, but keep it down. I'm indiscreto. I think you mean incognito? Whatever, I just don't want Samoa Joe to find me. I'm pretty sure he's not here. Good, but just in case, look off into the distance when you're talking to me. I tried calling you all week, but your phone went straight to voicemail. That's because I smashed it. I'm also wearing different deodorant to throw Samoa Joe off my trail. Can't be too cautious. And I don't know if you heard, but Joe ended up costing me my Money in the Bank qualifying match. You poked the bear and then ran away leaving me to deal with him. I'm sorry, and I'll make it up to you somehow, but don't get hot because I'm the Universal Champion. That's not what this is about. Are you sure you're not a tiny bit jealous I won a title in WWE before you when you're supposed to be the in-ring star? And I did it when I wasn't even an official member of the roster. I mean this in the nicest way. But you got lucky. I reversed a coquina clutch into a pin. That's not luck. I'm the one who taught you that when we were training in Calgary. Fine. Then I guess this is yours. Take Stop. it. Stop. One of the reasons I was trying to get a hold of you is Randy Orton wants to give you a short-term Raw contract. So congrats, you got what you wanted, at least as long as you're champion. Yes! I mean, yes! Don't get too excited. Orton also wanted me to let you know you're defending your title on Monday. Hmm. Let me guess, against Samoa Joe? No. He's mad at Joe for letting this turn into the single worst thing to ever happen in WWE. His words. So instead, you're going to face Brock Lesnar. Cool. You sure you don't want this? Sorry, you got yourself into this. Between interrupting and defeating Samoa Joe and essentially going into hiding before being awarded a temporary wall contract, it's certainly been a roller coaster of a week for our Universal Champion Trey. Our GM wants that roller coaster ride to come to a screeching halt. So much so that he convinced Brock Lesnar to compete in a non-pay-per-view match for the first time in years. It doesn't take a genius to predict that this will be the first and last time Trey defends the Universal Championship. Hey, no one thought he'd be in this position tonight, but he somehow pulled that off. Never say never. Never. Two. What wow. power. He's fighting hard and it's paying off. His oh. offense is second to none at times like this. Oh, Corey, he had loaded there. Up and... Oh, spiked with a Frankensteiner. Oh, foot just stomping down. Gets out of there in a hurry. Oh, the challenger eating up some damage. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Joe! Wait! He's got Paul Heyman in the Coquina Clutch! 
Why? Is he insane? And now the base is headed straight for Samoa Joe. Joe's unloading on Brock with that baseball bat. Wait, the, the bell just rang. I, I think the referee disqualified Trey for Samoa Joe attacking Brock. Trey still retains the Universal Championship. That's my Universal title, and I'm going to take it back. Not anyone else. So, Randy Orton, until you give me my rematch, get used to this happening over and over again. Hey, Vipes. Heard you wanted to talk? Look, I get you're trying to do what's best for your career, but I'm not your biggest fan right now. So don't walk in here like some jackass calling me Vipes or any other stupid name you come up with. I'm feeling a negative vibe here, but maybe we should try to work together since this jackass is your universal champion. Not for long. You got lucky tonight with Samoa Joe helping you, but that will not happen again next week when Joe is banned from the building. Solid move, Mr. Raw General Manager Randy Orton. Is that better? Don't test me. So next week, am I facing Brock Lesnar again? No, he had his shot. You're going up against someone I can guarantee will take your title and send you packing back to NXT. Kurt Hawkins? Yeah, that's it. Really? No. You'll be facing the monster among men, Braun Strowman. Hey, I heard you're in the Fatal 4-Way Last Chance match. So that means you only need to beat three women tonight, then five other women who didn't need two tries to qualify for the Money in the Bank match to then get a chance to face me for my title. I'm not much of a gambler, but I really like those odds. How about we forget those eight other women that I smash you in the face and take your title right now? Because I really like those odds. I know you're used to handouts everywhere else you've been, but last time I checked, they don't call me Mela is Charity. So good luck, long shots. Hey, I meant it when I said I would make up for Samoa Joe costing you your money in the bank qualifying shot last week. So how can I help in the last chance match tonight? I appreciate the offer, but I think I want to handle this one on my own. Besides, haven't you caused enough trouble around here already? Don't you want to guarantee a spot in the Money in the Bank match? It could lead to you holding a title, which I know you're dying to do so you can shut me up about winning one before you. I don't know. Fine. I'll take your help, but only if I really need it, okay? Now you're thinking like a champion. And I should know, since I am one. Shut up. As this last chance fatal four-way elimination match gets underway, you can almost feel the sense of desperation in the air. Nah, it's just Saxton trying to line up a date for after the show. Okay, I'm going to ignore that, but what I believe Michael was referring to is the fact that only one of these women will earn the final spot in the upcoming Money in the Bank ladder match. The other three, they're going home empty-handed. Wasn't expecting that. She's in control. Big spine punch. Big spine. She steers clear there. Caught. Uh -oh. Dragon screw. Ah, oh, Bailey planning her. Gets out of dodge there. What a series of strikes from one of the most prolific strikers in the game. Point right here. The night could be over for Ember Moon. Impressive cut. And will this be it? Yes. That's a shocking elimination of the last been minute. Eliminated. Now with complete control. Oh, what a roundhouse kick! Haymaker connects. Now another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. 
He's going He's down. Is it enough? Two, two, three, and there's the elimination. Three, has been eliminated. Missile drop kick finds its mark. Not where you want to be at this point in the match, guys. It's down to the final two. One of these women will go on to compete in the Money in the Bank ladder match. It's our Universal Champion, Trey. Uh, this guy's been causing all sorts of trouble lately. He just needs to stay in the back permanently. Red takes advantage. And she wins. Red has earned the final spot the Money in the Bank ladder match. I don't know if I'd use the word earned. She got it by relying on her friend's help. Wait, how do we even know she wanted its help? She doesn't look very happy with him right now. Look, I'm not buying it. There's no doubt in my mind these two planned this entire thing. Welcome to Monday Night Raw, where our general manager is still trying everything he can to get the Universal title off of Trey. This week, Samoa Joe is banned from the arena, so we can't interfere on the champion's behalf again when Trey takes on Braun Strowman. General manager Randy Orton was also not pleased that Trey got involved in Red's last chance Money in the Bank qualifying match. So tonight, Red will take on Bailey in a so-called last, last chance match. The winner will earn the final spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match. After Trey's interference in Red's match last week, this is her final chance to qualify for the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. How many chances is Red going to receive? It's getting a little ridiculous. To be fair, Red did win the match last week, so if anything, this is really another chance for her to lose something she already had. It's more of a punishment than it is a reward. Whatever you say, Byron. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Oh, clothesline! Overhand right lands. Wow, she turned that one around. DDT! If you're just joining us, welcome to Monday Night Raw. I'm Michael Cole, alongside Corey Graves and Byron Saxton. What a drop kick! She's got the shoulders down. Very Shoulder curious down. move to go for a pinfall at this point. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. With an endearing personality and affectionate demeanor, Bailey can appear to be a pushover, but that might be exactly what she wants you to think. Coin it true, uh, I would be very accepting of a Bailey hug outside of competition, but I would do all I can to avoid one in a match. Oh my gosh! What an uppercut. Corey, you talked about this earlier, and it's worth repeating. A superstar who's going up against Bailey must not allow the hugger section energy to play a factor in the match. And Bailey evades that one. Oh, wow. KO punch. Oh, right to the face. reversed paying for that mistake Stunner! Stunner! the women's revolution is turned into the women's evolution oh and a stop just despicable menacing Stop after stop after stop. Oh, the reversal by Bale. And Bailey evades that one. Boom right the button. Spinning back fist. Haymaker connects. Harsh impact. Ooh, what impact. Oh my gosh! What an uppercut. This could do it. Two, two, three. 
this singles contest has a victory. It's wins like that that makes this girl such a force to be reckoned with here in the WWE. The crowd here tonight certainly seemed to appreciate the efforts. What a great match. With Samoa Joe banned from the arena, what are the odds Trey can hold on to the Universal Championship against the monster among men, Braun Strowman? I'd say not very good at all, but crazier things have happened lately, like Trey winning the Universal Championship in the first place. Guys, enjoy this match while you can, because it's the last time you'll be seeing Trey on Monday Night Raw for a very, very long time. Man. Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your opponent. Whoa, he, he works his way out. Reverses. Can he make him pay? Well executed arm drag. Braun Strowman fans with some reason to worry about here. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. I feel a little silly asking this, given that there is probably no good answer, but Corey, how do you beat Braun Strowman? Well, you're right, Cole, that is a silly question, because there's no blueprint when it comes to defeating a monster like Braun Strowman. The best advice I would give, I guess, is try to chop him down the size. Three! Champion. The champ... And Strowman hits the running power slam. That might be it for Trey. Wait, that's Samoa Joe. Since I was banned from the building tonight, I had some rare free time on my hands. So I thought, what should I do? Well, you might not know this about me, but I'm a huge fan of men's slow pitch softball. And I actually remembered, Braun, that your old man was one of the greatest softball players of all time. In fact, he hit so many home runs in his day that they called him the Crusher. So I decided to come to your hometown and see the Crusher in action. And he did not disappoint. But now, the game's almost over. I can't wait to meet your dad in the parking lot. I mean, since I got to see what he's capable of with a bat, I figured it's only fair that I show him what I can do. <laughs> Braun Strowman has seen enough. He's going to try to hunt down Samoa Joe. And he's also going to get counted out. It's all over. Trey wins. You got to be kidding me. Trey has to be the luckiest guy on the planet because yet again he manages to escape with the Universal Championship. Well, you lucked out again. Hey, it's not my fault Samoa Joe is such a big fan of softball. Assuming Braun Strowman doesn't end up in jail for whatever he does to Joe, you're going to face Braun again at Money in the Bank. Well, actually, before Money in the Bank. You're putting the Universal Championship match on the kickoff show? Not exactly. The only way I can guarantee Samoa Joe won't be involved again is if your match takes place before the show when the doors are locked and no one else is in the building. It's going to be an empty arena match. Hey, at least this won't be my first empty arena match since I had one before against Jerry Lawler. When was that? Oh, it was in a dream I had, but still, good practice. Speaking of dreaming, I'm gonna go rest up for my big match. Later, Vipes. I mean, Mr. Raw General Manager Randy Orton.
Welcome to the kickoff show for Money in the Bank, where in just a few moments, Trey will defend his Universal Championship against Braun Strowman in an empty arena match. Trey's been bailed out these past few weeks by Samoa Joe, but that will not happen again tonight. He's going to have to win this match on his own, which I don't see happening. The deck is certainly stacked against Trey like it has never been before. I make a movie, it's somebody in the way of me getting the juicy, juicy up. We're so accustomed to the presence of the WWE Universe that there's almost an eerie silence in the arena right now. Well, you have to wonder if that will affect either superstar. Playing off the energy of the crowd could sometimes be a huge momentum boost. Well, I really don't think it's going to matter. It's kind of like that old saying. If Trey gets his ass kicked in an arena and no one's around to see it, did it still happen? Yes. Yes, it did. That was really deep, Corey. Shredding all over their opponent. He just cannot be caught. Big reversal. Dragon twist cutter. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. He better turn the tide. Extreme rules leave no room for error. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Ooh, ooh. Straight punch. Ooh, ooh, nasty impact. Ooh, what impact? Harsh impact. Boom, what impact. Ooh. ooh. Trey's giving it everything he's got to take down the monster among men. Braun with a power slam. Hold on, it's Samoa Joe. He was hiding underneath the ring. Braun just snapped that back like it was nothing. Roman counters with a boot to the face. Here's the cover on Trey. Two. It's over. Braun Strowman is your new Universal Champion. Finally, someone else caught a break for a change. And Samoa Joe is now realizing uh, what transpired. And he uh, is not happy, to say the least. I'm sorry about your title, but there's no shame in losing to Braun. Especially with how it went down. I'm not that upset about losing the Universal Championship. Even though my run was short, it was memorable. I'm more disappointed that my time on Raw has come to an end. What do you want? You couldn't hang on to the title just a little bit longer, so I could take it from you. And whose fault is that? I did everything I could to preserve my rematch, but it wasn't enough. Title or no title, I'm still going to choke you out. Let's do this. Hey, that's enough. Come on now. Mm. Hey, take it easy. I've had enough of you these past few weeks. Not only did you lose the Universal title to someone who wasn't even a Raw superstar, but then you went to the extreme lengths to interfere in multiple championship matches. So you've left me with no other choice. You're fired! This isn't over. Because the moment you feel safe and stop looking over your shoulder, I'll be back to destroy you. Make sure he leaves immediately. I spoke to the doctor. He thinks you'll be fine to compete next week. Oh, okay. I'll, uh, I'll let NXT know. No, I meant on Raw. I've decided to give you a permanent contract. Really? Why? I know I've been hard on you, but I do see some potential. Your in-ring skills need work, but you can be entertaining at times. Oh, see? That's what I've been saying all these years. I put the inner tray meant in sports entertainment. I'm gonna leave before you say anything else that makes me regret my decision. Thanks, Vipes. I can call you that now, right? No. I'm happy for you. This is pretty awesome. I have officially arrived. Yeah, you got the spotlight now. No more being indiscreto. <laughs> well, I'm ready for people to know who I am. And hey, now that I'm going to be on TV every week, maybe even my real parents will see me. I should start leaving tickets for them at every big event, you know, just in case they show up. And this is all thanks to you. Yeah, well, <laughs> I can't take credit for everything. Now there's only one thing left to do tonight. We go out there and win the Money in the Bank ladder match. We? I appreciate the support, but I need to do this on my own. You sure? With Selena Vega in the match, there's a good chance Andrade will get involved at some point. Maybe. So, 
How about you stay back here, and if Andrade does interfere, then you take him out. Deal? Deal. I got your back. The package deal is together again on Raw. Already got one contract, about to get another. Might even meet my real parents soon. All of our dreams are coming true. <gasps> well, I guess now that I'm all alone, I can properly celebrate. <clears throat> I got a raw contract. The ink's dry so they can't give it back. I got a raw contract. I'm kinda hungry, I need a snack. Yeah! I got a raw contract. I got a raw contract. I think I left my phone in. You're the worst. I got a raw contract. I got a- Hey! Oh. 